we are going to enter data into the calculator so that you can use the graphing capabilities. So if on your calculator, if you would hit the key that says stat, so we're going to start by hitting that. So that's your statistics key. It will give you um, this menu. And the next thing that you would want to do is you want to hit the edit key. So it's already highlighted. So you hit enter and you will see this screen. Now, it, I have things already listed in L1 and L2. Um, this should be the default where it comes up L1, L2, L3 in that order. If you have other lists there, so like maybe you're using a calculator that belongs to someone else and you want your calculator to have L1, L2, L3, then what you're going to do is if you hit stat and you hit setup editor, which is number five. So I'm going to hit number five for setup editor and I'm going to hit enter. Now, if you do that, now when you go back to stat and edit, then you will um, have this screen. Now, I have things in mind. I'm going to clear them out, so I'm going to show you how to clear it. To clear this out, I need to be at the top, so, we're, so it's highlighted at L1, so you just use the up arrow key. And now that it's highlighted there, if I hit clear and then I hit enter, it clears out everything that was in L1. I'm also going to clear out everything that was in L2. So I'm going to move to the right and go up so that it's highlighted at the top of L2 and hit enter. And now L2, um, oh, I'm sorry. I needed to hit clear first. Now enter. And that clears that out. So I'm going to enter some data in, in L1. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do something else. Um, I'm going to enter the height data from our student data sheet. But I don't want to enter it in L1. I'm going to create a list called hype. So I'm going to go to the top of a list. So I'll just go to the top where I have it at L1. And I want to insert a list. So I'm going to hit the second key. And the insert button, it says INS right above the delete key. So I'm going to hit that key. And you'll notice that it created a space in my list. And it also is waiting for me to type in a name. The alpha key is locked. So I'm going to type in height. Now, since the alpha key is locked, it's going to be giving me these letters down here. So if I do um, an H, that was that caret key. So it will only let me type in five letters. So I'm going to write H E. Um, okay, if I can find the I I G. H. So it's just going to say, I don't, I don't, it won't let you put a T on the end. Um, so you'll have, you might have to abbreviate some things. Um, so then I'm going to hit enter. And okay, you won't have this happen. I have, apparently I already had a list named that. Let me clear this. Okay, that wouldn't happen to you because yours should be like this now. So you should have a blank list. Now you're going to type in the data from your class data sheet. So if you take your class data sheet and just type the numbers in. Once you have that, now we're going to be able to do things. We can access this list. We can make graphs. We can um, do numerical, um, calculate some numerical statistics like the mean, the median. We can do all that kind of stuff with this. Okay, once we have our data in that list, I want to do something with it. So I'm going to show you how you can make a, a histogram or use different types of graphs that you can do. I'm going to quit out of this. Um, stat edit mode. So if you go second and then quit, which is the mode key, and it will say, actually, it just takes you back to the regular screen. You can hit clear anytime you want the, the screen to be cleared. Um, before you, the, to get the stat plots, you're going to go second and then the y equals button. But first, click on y equals and see if you have an equation there. Like I do, I have an equation there. That can sometimes get in the way of my plot. So I'm just, it, I, it's not something I need right now, so I'm going to clear this. If it was something you needed, all you would have to do is go to the equal sign and hit enter. And now it's not 
highlighted, the equal sign's not highlighted anymore, so so it won't graph that. Okay, so if it's something you think you need, you can actually um, leave the equation there and just um, basically turn off that um, that graphing editor. So if you go second stat plot, you have these choices. Notice that all of these plots one, two, and three, they all say off. If they didn't, if they all said on, I would choose number four and turn the plots off. Right now they're already off. I'm going to choose plot one. So I'm going to, it's already highlighted, so I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to turn it on. So I select to turn that on. Now if you go down to type, there are different types of graphs. The first one is a scatter plot, and we're going to be doing those later. The second one is a um, line plot. This one will connect the dots. We don't use this very much. The next one is a histogram. That's what we're going to use right now. Um, next is box, box and whisker plots. So we will be using those but um, a little later. So right now I'm interested in a histogram, so I'm going to choose that. And then I have to tell my calculator where my data is. Well, my data is in a, yours, yours might default to L1, so it might say L1. I already had something else in mind. Um, my list, my data is in a list called height. So to find that, I'm going to go, um, I need to go find my list. Well, if you hit the second button and the stat key, if you look above stat, it says list in blue. That's where you'll find all of your lists, and they're all named. If you scroll down, you'll notice you all have L1 through L6. And then you probably don't have anything else except height. I have some other things that we that I've done in the past. And here's my height. That's the data I want, so I choose it by selecting Enter, and it pastes it there. Okay. You don't have to worry about the frequency key. Um, there are some places where I'll show you that later um, of an example of where that can be helpful. So now I've I've selected my graph. So now I want to actually make this graph, and to do that, if I hit the zoom key. Um, actually, I think I need to get out of this. So let me do second quit to get out of that. Now let me hit the zoom key. And these are going to give me choices. We've used zoom six a lot for a standard viewing window. We're not going to use that this time. Um, if you go down, scroll down, it's number nine. So I could have just typed in a number nine. You'll see one called zoom stat. And what zoom stat does is it creates a window for you that it thinks works well with your data. So it's always a really good first place to start. So if I hit enter for zoom stat, there's a histogram. And I can hit the trace key and I can see um, some information about my graph. Now my calculator just chooses numbers for me. And I might be interested in, in changing this a little bit. So if you hit the um, Hold on just a second. All right, if you hit the window key, and this sets, you can see we have X min, X max, so we have that information and it's scaled by fives. You can adjust the appearance of your graph. Um, if I were, to, if I wanted to make my numbers a little friendlier, I could start, say I wanted to make it start at 150, and my highest value, I think I can go up to 190 because we were below that. And I'm going to have it count by tens. So I'm going to scale by tens. Now I'm not going to adjust the Y values right now. I might have to come back later. Um, now I'm just going to hit graph. I'm not going to hit zoom stat because if I do, it will go back to a window that I, I don't want anymore. So I'm just going to hit graph. And you can see the picture changed, but now you can see that it doesn't go up high enough. So I have to adjust my vertical scale. So if I go back to window, and I'm going to adjust my Y max because I want it to go up a little higher. So I'll just have it go up to 10. That should be plenty high. And now hit graph again. And so now I can see the graph. Now if I hit the trace key, see this gives me, tells me that there were two students whose pulse rate, oh no, I'm sorry, whose heights, whose heights were between 150 centimeters, but they were less than 160 centimeters. If I hit the right arrow key, I can see there were nine students whose, centimeter, whose height was between 160 but less than 170. And I can scroll, and I, so I can see that information from my histogram. We'll also be talking about how with any histogram we would want to look at things called center, shape, and spread. We would be looking at the distribution of heights. So that's just a little bit on how you enter data to, and how you can look at a histogram.